Hi guys, what's up? So today I want to show you a bit code related to this article how we use Angular Alert Clarity component or uh, other component programmatically. Uh, the problem is that there is a component in uh, Clarity and uh, other libraries that uh, can be used only on the template, the HTML, and we want sometimes way to call this component programmatically from the code itself, not from the, the template. So this is the problem and the solution is, I will show you in the code, but uh, general to create some uh, custom uh, service, in this case it's custom alert service, and also start some uh, custom alert component and use them, use it uh, on your uh, component. Uh, so let's see the, <coughs> the demo. So we have, uh, this is a stack blitz and uh, we have some component with several uh, button. When we press the alert, the global alert will show on the screen. When we press ID, it will hide it. And there is the ability for a uh, toggle it. We can also close the alert and we get uh, alert closed clicked. Uh, so let's uh, see the folder structure. There is the app folder, global alert. It will hold the global alert component. <clears throat> and also the service that will uh, connect us uh, or be the adapter uh, for the uh, clarity alert component itself. So let's start from top to down. We have the app component and in the app component we will load the app global alert. Okay. And in the code itself, by the way, it's app component, but it can be uh, any component that you want. Uh, so in the app component, we use, we must use the alert service, our custom alert service that expose the behavior. Uh, and here, when we want to show the alert on the screen, we just wrote uh, alert service dot show with some configuration that we will show after. Uh, in this case, we will show a message uh, I and the clarity app level is false. So it looks like that. If I change it to true, it looks like that. Okay, so it's uh, configurable and <clears throat> And we can also uh, listen to an uh, unclose uh, event and do whatever we want. So this is the app component level. Now let's go to the global alert itself. So this is the global alert. It will use the clarity alert, okay, with some configuration that have in the alert service. So you can play with that, uh, but see here that uh, each uh, each, uh, each input is get from alert service and it's, it's dynamically. So the alert component itself, as you see here, it's just uh, take the alert service and use it behind the scene and also uh, expose the on close uh, uh, event uh, outside. So this is the global alert component and the service itself. So the service is alert service that use some, some uh, configuration. The, the configuration is uh, they take part of them from the clarity uh, component, alert clarity component. And in this case, I just expose several stuff like uh, the alert type. I use uh, my Oh, and uh, Inam. Uh, there is also a message, a clarity alert up level, and a clarity uh, alert closable. Also true. Uh, so this is the uh, default. And when we and we expose also a, a functions to the alert service. Think about the alert service like the uh, like the public API that you, when we when you want to call the alert itself. So you call the, this method and magically behind the scene, it will uh, 
will show you the, your alert. So there is a, the, the show function get uh, config, it will uh, overwrite the existing uh, configuration of the alert config, and uh, after that the global alert component will use it and show to the screen whatever you want to show. So you need to go over the code and uh, play with it to see the uh, integration between them. And it's important to understand that we use the Clarity Alert, but we wrap it with our uh, global alert component that use the service, the custom alert service itself. Uh, so this is the small demo. Uh, and I hope that you learn something new. Bye, guys.